everybody, my name is Kate Good. I am a professional speaker, an apartment all-star, and now an apartment developer. And this year, I have been noticing a big trend, a lot of stress with stabilized apartment communities that they're competing with brand new apartment communities. I'm building some of those new apartment communities. And that stress is really coming from the idea that we feel old in the new construction world. So what I'm teaching is ways to freshen up, polish up a little bit, so that you feel fresh and brand new again. And a couple things that I've been focusing on for those stabilized communities that have been around 10, 15, 20, 30 years is what have you done to put your fresh face forward? Are you cleaning out those air ducts so you have a fresh smell? Are you doing things like fluffing and buffing? I know that adding pillows and area rugs and brand new area rugs and the new hot color of the year and putting a couple comforters underneath the, the uh, comforter on, in your model gives it that fluffy luxury of peel. We don't just put two pillows in a model. We put six pillows on that bed. So you just want to run and lay in it. We monogram those pillows. We make it look really classy. We put the brand of the apartment community on there. And the other thing that we do is we give everything a fresh coat of paint from curbs to walls to accent walls, doors, make everything fresh and new. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money, but that customer has to feel like you care about that apartment community. That apartment community is getting some love. The other thing that we're focusing on is our people. If you're a leasing consultant and you're working in a new apartment community, you're walking on air. You know you're leasing the coolest, newest property in the market. But if you're working at the one that's 20 years old, you may not feel that way. So I want our management teams to put some love into our teams. And that means changing what they're wearing, giving them a really trendy, fun, cool uniform that fits everyone, all sizes, but they truly feel proud to wear. Give them some new training, some motivation. Uh, make them feel great about their jobs again. Create that environment where they want to win, they want to succeed. Just because they've been there for four years and they've always performed well for you, doesn't mean that they're going to be able to perform in this new construction market. So it's time to sharpen their skills, make sure that you know how important they are, and don't ever let that manager become complacent. A manager that stays at a property too long doesn't understand the term disruption. And disruption means that when we get in and we change things and we shake it up a little bit, we're getting new attention from the consumer. We're getting attention from our team members. We're breathing new life into this community. Uh, that manager leading that charge is so important, but sometimes in order for that to happen, you may have to switch your managers around a little bit, do the great manager shuffle, and you will see those properties perform even better. Those great managers are out there and they may have been performing well for you for the past five years of this community. If you move them to another community, they're going to perform even better. And the one that comes into the one that they just left will take that one to the next level too, because that's that competitive nature that we have. And when you get into something that's new to you and you see it all for the first time, you're focused on improvement. And that's what we want those stabilized communities to do. So I truly believe that you can compete with new construction, but you have to do it by putting your fresh face forward, freshen everything up from marketing to product to people.